Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin on Thursday. SPFL Chief Executive Neil Doncaster said Rangers' vague allegations of bullying and coercion by the league are simply unacceptable and are causing intolerable strain to the board. Rangers, along with Hearts and Stranra, have forced an emergency general meeting on the 12th of May to call for an inquiry into the SPFL handling of the vote to end the lower league seasons claiming they have proof of a lack of fair play in the voting process, with Dundee changing their vote after the deadline. Now, Doncaster stated that any alleged evidence of wrongdoing must be brought forward immediately and remained adamant that the league is open-minded over possibly completing the Premiership season. Along with Doncaster, SPFL chairman Murdoch McLennan spoke yesterday. and He insisted Dundee were not offered a sweetener to change their vote on ending the season. Uh, McLennan also said Rangers' motives should be considered for calling the EGM after a League Commission probe into Dundee's vote has already found no evidence of improper behaviour. McLennan tried to clear up more issues, stating that the League would have been accused of unwarranted secrecy had they not declared the votes that Friday evening. Issuing loans to multiple clubs was unrealistic and that the decision had to be taken to end the, uh, to end the League's present possibly dozens of clubs going to the wall. Now he did accept that the SPFL have made mistakes and that they shouldn't have placed a 5pm deadline on ballot responses. And Arbroath manager Dick Campbell gave his thoughts on the ongoing SPFL debacle, questioning the integrity of football. Speaking on the football show last night, Campbell had some strong words to describe the current situation, but like many, he was left with more questions than answers. I just think it's petty, I think it's stupid. I think we should make a decision um, and, and then let's get together about it. That's all from me this morning. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates throughout the day. And don't forget the football show with Pete and Ruffy is on at four o'clock on both Facebook and YouTube.